decals are small pieces of artwork projected somewhere on your 3D model. Their advantages are, as any detail, they make the object look more interesting. There are many different ways to apply a decal in Blender, from using the shrink wrap modifier to going through the whole texture paint workflow. My name is Thibaut Bourbon for cgcookie.com, and the method I will show you is non-destructive and rather quick, so you can use it during any stage of your project. Alright, let's get started. The first thing to do is to make sure a specific add-on is turned on. So let's go on your preferences and make sure the add-on name Import Images as Plane is uh, activated. Now let's use it immediately and click on File, Import, and you can see this new option there, Images as Plane. And for this exercise, we're going to use the CG Cookie logo. Let's take a closer look to what we just imported. So the image looks fine, but the alpha layer is completely black. We can fix that by changing the blend mode from opaque to alpha blend. And now the alpha layer is completely see-through. A cool thing with this add-on is that it automatically generates a basic decal shader, which is, well, basically a mix shader between a transparent and a diffuse using the color and the alpha layer to combine them. Okay, back to the modeling mode. Now we're going to well place our decal and it's going to be a little bit tricky if we just use the grab button. So for that I recommend strongly using the snapping mode and setting the snapping to face using the center targets and align the rotation to target. That way if we hit G and hold control, the normal of the decal will automatically match the normal of the target. So let's try to move it around like this. One important thing when placing your decal is to make sure that it will properly project itself to the target. In this case, for example, the project zone will go a little bit over, so we might have a lot of deformations on the final result. Using the orthographic view and aligning the decal that way would provide much better result. Okay, so now we can rearrange a little bit its position, and in order to properly project it, we're going to steal a little bit of the target's geometry in order to get a one-to-one -one identical mesh. So that's the first trick. We need to shift D duplicate the target and then we can select the decal and go to the local view. So in order to steal the geometry, we're going to use a bo boolean modifier. So let's add it on the modifier tab, select the operation to intersect and the object we're going to intersect is, is the decal itself. The result is zero since the decal has no thickness, so let's fix that by adding a solidify modifier and increase the thickness, and that way we can get the exact amount of surface we need. You can stop adding the thickness once you see the complete rear face of the solidified decal. Now we can apply the boolean modifier and do some geometry cleaning since we don't need these faces I'm like showing here with the grease pencil. So let's jump to the edit mode, select the rear face and delete all the vertices. And now we have the exact minimum amount of surfaces we need to project the decal on a target. We can also remove the solidify modifier and now we're ready to go. In order to fix, now the next step is to fix the shading. So we can select the target and then the decal and hit Ctrl L in order to make link the materials to both of the object. The next step is to fix the UV mapping of the target and we're going to use a very convenient option in Blender. So let's select the decal first, uh, the target first, and then the decal. Hit Shift 7 to align the view to the decal's normal. We can then also hide the decal now and focus on the target. So to fix the mapping, we can select all the faces, hit U, and use the option Project from View, which will unwrap the target as we see it on the viewport, which means exactly aligned with the decal. We can rename the target well, CGC logo applied and move it to another collection just for the sake of having things clean. Now let's leave the local mode and see how it looks. The projection is really good, but there is still some issue. Of course, it's a bit deformed since the decal is pretty big compared to, the def compared to the curvature of the target. But there's another issue I want to focus on right now, is the fact that the faces are completely overlapping, so we have some shading problems, like the ones I'm like highlighting here. Not good. 
but it's pretty easy to fix these averting issues. It's basically just adding a displacement modifier to offset just a little touch the decal. So let's reduce the strength to something very low like 0 0.0001 and then we're happy with the result. If you want to make some fine tune, we can go to the UV editing mode, jump to the edit menu, edit mode, sorry, and when we select all the faces and scale them or rotate them, we can, well, fine tune the, the decal itself. So this process is very convenient and it can be used in any situation, like for example, if you have two objects, like the green one and the yellow one, and hold on a second, so let's move again, and it doesn't seem that the decal is following the target. So we can fix that very quickly by selecting the decal and set it and like parenting it to the target. That way they move together. Sorry. So back to the two objects, the green one and the yellow one. We're going to reproduce the workflow. So I'm going to accelerate a little bit like for the for the time being. So import the image, place it. Here we can see that the decal is not completely overlapping the target, but that doesn't really matter since it will only uh, involve the alpha part, the transparent part. So no big issue. So duplicate the targets, select the decal, jump to the local view, add the Boolean modifier. And now my favorite part, solidify the decal and increasing the thickness. Yeah, you can see on the yellow target that since the decal is not completely covering the surface, uh, the boolean shows a little bit different result, but that's actually for the best since it will be less geometry to clean. Now for the mapping, there's another method that can be used. Uh, it's to use another modifier named the uh, UV project and use well the decal of course as a projector and then of and then the trick is to apply the modifier so let's redo it for the other target and apply apply and let's hide the decal and take a closer look the scale is just incorrect so we can also benefit from the multiple objects select in blender and select both of the target both the target and then scale their uv at the same time in the UV editor. So both method works. Uh, I find the first one a little bit more intuitive, but it's up to you to, to do how you prefer. And let's not forget to add the displacement modifier and also parent the two decal to the target. Time to wrap things up. This method is extremely powerful. The decals are sticking perfectly and seamlessly to the target. You can still edit your target model and none of the modifier that you might have been using had to be applied. It's really convenient and you just have to go to follow through these well, nine steps on both the target and the decal. Since this workflow involves like very basic operation, if you're into scripting, I'm pretty sure it's very possible to generate a simple macro or even an add-on to, to do that. So to your keyboard, if you feel like a programmer. One last thing, in real life decals are usually small, so you don't need to import a 10 meters times 25 meters decal, and which also means that you don't need to import images with very high resolutions. Uh, finally, you also notice that in real life, decals usually apply on flat area in order to avoid deformation. So Keep that in mind while you when you do that to your models. Otherwise, have fun projecting as many decals as you want on your favorite object and uh, see you next time.